All right, everyone, how about a singles read? How about we take a break from the soulmate cycle for a moment? Fly outside of it. Take a look around at what's around us for new love, new soulmates. We keep getting these three card readings where you're attracting soulmates like flies, right? Everybody, pretty much everybody you meet, you've had a past life connection with under this current energy. I asked you to have a little bit of faith in it. I got a pre shuffle here. Might, might just blow your mind. There's a key word to this for those that watch these readings quite a bit. These singles reads, I believe we use the key word brown dwarf to describe a certain soulmate of almost, if not equal, power to the runner who ran from you, which for some of you, this incoming energy is why you went through this other runner situation in the first goddamn place to get you ready for it, to get you on their level, because this, this, this one here is done cooking. All right, it's a cooked turkey. You can slice it and eat it and do whatever you want to with it. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading, as with all the Stee Harmony singles reads, is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. So I can't say when this is going to happen for you, but who cares? I mean, in a way, I can tell you it's close. I don't divine that far out. And if you watched my fourth quarter of 2022 reading, man, you get some justice. There's some justice coming. And that, that reading picked up right when I pulled it just a couple of days ago. So that energy is here. All of it is here. Something happens in October that leads to a, well, an Ace of Pentacles toward the end of the year. I think it was December that had the Ace of Pentacles crossed by the Fool. It was pretty awesome. I have to say that reading was awesome. And it's nice to see because it's been a tricky year. You know, Q1 and Q2, they, they were tricky. And they were. All right, let's go. Let's do this. We're flying outside the soulmate cycle. So your runner does not appear here. This is what's in store for you in the love department. All right, Steve's love tarot. So Ace of Pentacles, the most solid new beginning in the tarot. Crossed by the Three of Swords. Kurt Cobain, or as we called it earlier in a Leo reading, it could be Peppermint Patty from the Peanuts series. Either or, it's in pain. So it's Kurt Cobain in pain, basically. Cross the Three Swords crossing the Ace of Pentacles. What did I tell you? What did I just say? Rewind. I said, this is, this is, I'll get to why it's brown dwarf energy, that, that soulmate that you can't see way out there in space of equal or slightly less but not much less power to the runner you going through your whole soulmate cycle here okay whether your runners come back or not they may have some competition because you've elevated yourself you've gotten yourself to a new level this is something a solid new beginning that wipes out the pain right this is the black hole sun in here that washes away the pain, right? There you go, that old Soundgarden song coming back. Black hole sun. Still sounds like he got marbles in his mouth to me. But either way, there it is. Knight of Cups underneath that, and the Knight of Cups is crossed by the moon. That is, it's something that's in your periphery, okay? It's, it's, it's invisible. You may not be able to see it, uh, but... Uh, my Queen of Cups here underwater, which is how I read this card from this deck, she's about ready to come to the surface here. And let me tell you something, this is a powerful soulmate. There's two cups there. This is, this is why I said this feels like that keyword brown dwarf energy uh, to me. For those of you that are new and you don't understand brown dwarf, you're getting all crazy, like is this a, is, is this a tiny person? Is this a, is some sort of elf who's coming to it? No. No, a brown dwarf is a type of star. Most stars in our universe are uh, um, uh, uh, part of a binary system. In other words, they have a sister star. Actually, most of them do. That, that sister star doesn't have to be right on top of them. And there's a theory. It's just a theory. It can be proved right and it can be proved wrong based on the math. That our sun that we see up in the sky has a... Uh, is part of a binary system and they think it's a brown dwarf type star which would be very difficult to see way out beyond what's called the Kuiper belt which is way out beyond Pluto so it would be a long orbit it would take there might be thousands of years where we couldn't see it sort of a thing all right hey it's possible 
the math works mm, but there's also math in the other direction where it doesn't but either way uh, we're, we're just using the term here the brown dwarf so there there's your explanation this is a soulmate um, that washes away the pain and they're they're very close and then with, with the moon here I don't want to say right on top of you but uh, it, this is very close energy you guys are attracting soulmates so what's interesting is you could attract this in without realizing it I think what the moon is actually trying to tell us is you may not see it coming you might wake up one day let's say it's a Thursday and it's just a normal day right as Paul McCartney once sang it's just another day it's just another day uh, and you go off and you do your thing you go to work and whatever and on your lunch break you run into somebody or they run into you it, it's it's like that it's like that kind of an energy it comes out of the shadows all right and it's very interesting this this is a fully cooked energy I'm not gonna split this reading I'm just gonna pull on the pre shuffle all right let's see where we go this first card here we're gonna do a cut it's before the cut it's why the fuck are we here and I don't know if I'm doing a three card or a four card, but this is interesting. Before the cut, why the fuck are we here? Is a, is a sec, uh, six of swords. Um, yeah, again, it ties to that energy of this is something that you weren't ready for before. That's what the Ace of Pentacles was trying to tell us. You weren't ready for it. You had to go through the pain that you went through so that you could grow and learn and get yourself work together because I'll just say it. This person, this energy the way the energy of you guys was when I first got here to YouTube this energy wouldn't have given you the time of day it would have thought you was trouble you know red flag ah oh, they're hung up on this person they keep yammering on about you know all that no 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 this isn't someone that wants someone that they have to fix this is someone that wants someone who's already on their level okay um, like the kids like to say if, if you want the right person, you have to be the right person when the right person shows up. It's that kind of energy. This is, this is nice. This is, this is nice. This moves you on from something. Okay? And I, I do think, pay attention to what I said about that moon card. Uh, don't take anything for granted. Don't prejudge the energy. I told you that yesterday in a three card where I gave you the weather forecast, the energetic weather forecast. And you had that five of swords, you remember? I said, don't prejudge anything. Whether you're having a good day or a bad day or you think it's just another boring ass day, do not do that. All right? Things can change on a dime. They can. Mm -hmm. And this looks like it's a good change. So keep that in mind. Let's see what comes after the cut, after that Six of Swords. This is nice energy. It's beautiful energy. It's equal give and take. It's someone who's not afraid to give love or receive love. And you need to be on that Empress level for that as well you need to be not afraid to give love or receive love it's someone who's balanced it's an energy that I often say about the brown dwarf soulmate it's someone who is balanced within their own inner masculine and feminine they're done cooking it's a good turkey you can eat it you won't end up on the emotional toilet all night but this isn't an energy that wants you to put them on an emotional toilet all night so you got to be done cooking, which is why I try so hard. As soon as I saw this way, way back, I don't remember when we first saw the brown dwarf around, but way, way back, I remember I'm trying extra hard to get you guys to, to figure out the lesson here. And we've had many readings lately where the universe has tried to help you. It told you your lessons in all of this for your growth. The key to your growth lies in the four of cups, lies in the disappointment. Why are you disappointed? Well, I mean, I can give you a head start and tell, and tell you why are you disappointed. Even if you love somebody, you think they're the greatest thing you're ever going to meet. First of all, that's a terrible thing to think. That's thinking in absolutes. Okay? Obviously, everything happens for a reason. If it happens, it means you're supposed to grow. But why, why would you be disappointed in somebody who wasn't, who wasn't able to give love or even receive it going away? You don't want a relationship with someone like that. It's hell. It's absolute hell. You dodged a bullet. You should be relieved and grateful for the lesson you got out of it. Yeah, there's some pain. But even our pre-shuffle here told you it's that pain that prepared you 
for this. And it's, and it's that pain, you processing through it, that three of swords, that slowed it down. That's why it gave us the ace of pentacles. All right. All right. Let's give the deck a final shuffle. All right. Here we go. I'll shut up. Fine. I heard someone say that. I felt it. Okay, fine. I will. Don't ask me twice. I know when to stop talking. You don't have to ask me to stop talking at all. I know when to shut up. I can shut up. I can stop talking anytime I want. It's fine. It's no big deal. Okay. Uh-huh. Let's give the deck a final a final shuffle. Tell me about that. Tell me about that pre-shuffle universe. Talk tell me about this incoming energy. This Knight of Cups. That's also a two of cups. Bringing again a two of cups in the pre-shuffle. Another card of equal equal give and take. It's nice. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, fuck yeah. Alright, the bottom card. Ah. This is the card that freaks people out because Hollywood fucked it up. Every time they have a tarot reader on a TV show, they always throw this one, don't they? The death card, right? And they never get the meaning right. They always Hollywood it up and go, it means death, you're going to die. You know, no, you're, no! It's, re it's change. It, it's Phoenix rising from the ashes energy, okay? Also look for someone in a red hood. But aside from that, maybe, maybe you're going to be banging Little Red Riding Hood. That'd be fun. Wow, how about that? I, wonder, I always wondered if she wore underpants under that thing. Let me know. Okay? Right in. And, and either way, this is change. This is different from what you're used to. Alright? Is this card, this death card's been reflecting change for like a good month now. Sometimes it just reflects a rebirth type energy, sometimes a transitional type energy, transformation. That's just change. Something different. Well, that's different, isn't it? You ever bang someone dressed like that? I don't think you have. You might have. If you have, right here. We'd love to hear it. Okay, right here, top of the deck. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull. Pull what I call a four banger. All right, we're not gonna do three cards. We're gonna do four. So we've got the two on the ends that bookend each other, and the two in the middle that cross each other. Okay. All right. Here we go. Six swords again. Why the fuck are we here? That's a very important card. It, it was because it was before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? Six swords. Okay. Mm. Ace of swords. What's crossing the ace of swords? The queen of pentacles. It don't get nicer than that. You guys, this is crazy. What the kids used to call cray cray. This is crazy. Book ending the six of swords is whoa. Whoa. Moving on from fakey McFakerman. Moving on. No, no, this is good. You want this here. Because the, my question when, I, when, when this card hit the table, my internal question was moving on from what? Mo you know, because there's choppy water over here. This is someone moving on. They're trying to get into calmer waters. On from this. Superficial nonsense. People that, that, that run from you. People that, you know, mess with you. This is an energy coming towards you. The energy I'm pulling on from the pre-shuffle that will not run from you. It is not fakey McFakerman. It's also someone you'll be very attracted to. Um, sometimes this energy comes up as someone that's not your type, and I have to give you a warning and, and all of that kind of stuff. I'm not really reading that here. I'm reading, you'll know who this is. I, 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 I'll pull some more on it, but because we'll, we're going to clarify some stuff. But first, let's talk about the Queen of Pentacles, one of the nicest energies of the Empress, crossing the Ace of Swords. Um, Again, it ties to that energy, it's sort of what I'm getting with you'll know. This is a soul nurturing energy. This isn't something you don't have to do anything. Okay? You don't have to do you don't have to go looking for this person. You will much like I tell you with that feather energy, right? We talk about gray feathers and and there's been a lot of feather magic, if you will, energy around black feathers. Many of you've been finding brown ones, black ones, white ones, gray ones, all that kind of stuff. You don't find them. They find you. If you're out looking for feathers, they have no meaning. What you, they find you. It's just like your soul's true purpose. It finds you. You don't find it. Okay? That's why a lot of people are miserable. They get that wrong. You know, they think their soul's purpose is one thing, and then it turns out it's something else that finds them later down the road. And then they go, oh, my God, I, I didn't even see that. Yeah, well, there you go. Happens all the time. You can't look for stuff. Stuff comes finding you, especially with this type of a soul connection. 
it, it, it'll happen it, when it's supposed to happen. That said, that's what that is. Let's, let's clarify. Let's do some cards here. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ace of Swords has another meaning. I'm going to pull on that first. Let's talk about the Ace of Swords here. All right. And I'm not going to do any bullshit here. I know there's somebody out there wondering because you watch a bunch of other people. I'm not going to do any bullshit here about getting you timing on when this is coming in. Not only is that not possible because there's no time as far as the human construct version of it within the energy, but also you're all moving on different timelines. There's no fucking way I could give a timing on anything for thousands of people watching a video, even if I could. But I can't. There's no such thing. I can say that I don't divine that far out. I'm pulling on the energies of right now. This energy is upon you. So if you wake up in the morning and you think it's just another boring ass day, it, it could change on a dime. Your life will change. You will meet something like this person. All right? You will. You may meet, you may meet a lot of soulmates because you're attracting them, but this one you'll know. Okay? So if it's something like them, well, you know. If you're unsure, stop thinking and start feeling. We'll get you some more information. First, probably a lot of that lives in the Ace of Swords here. That's the knowing. That's the epiphany. That's the aha moment. You'll know that this person is, you know, nurtures your soul. That they're, you know, not someone who's going to run. They're not someone who's full of shit. Because this is the full of shit queen. And this is the not so full of shit queen. This is, this is, this is nice energy. Everyone loves the Queen of Pentacles. All right, here we go. Ace of Swords. Why is it here? Why? Tell me about the Ace. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, the Ace of Swords, as a, as a card specific, is crossed by the Fool. Mm. This is... It's not even... It, it's a no-brainer energy. Okay? It, you'll know. You'll know when you meet this person exactly who, who they are to you. Now, now, a little tip from me. You're getting inside information here. Sometimes... When you get inside information, it leads you to overthinking. Don't go batshit crazy on every single person you meet that you're a little bit attracted to. Don't, if you do, happen upon this person, and it is the actual person. If you come off at all batshit crazy, they're going to they're gonna say goodbye. They're going to run from you. They're going to file a restraining order. Okay? So don't go crazy and go, oh my God, you're the brown dwarf. You're, you're, you're the one. You're it. You're my density. Lorraine. No, no. No. Just be cool. Always be cool. Okay? Look. This is your energy too. Be cool. She, you know, she's not waiting for anything. She, she got everything she needs. She's fine. Alright? See, see how my voice changed there? Just be cool. What's on top? Two of Pentacles. Mm. And that's why you need to be cool. You need to take your leaps of faith and make your decisions about people quickly. Alright? You need to you need to you need to do that you can't be one of the lessons you should have learned from the runner in your if you're part of the soulmate cycle and watching those readings one of the lessons you should have learned from them is dilly dally and lands you in towers if you dilly dally too long you miss opportunities if you like something give it a chance look at it objectively take the, separate the wheat from the chaff I always suggest to, to, in an effort to not be like the runners in the soulmate cycle, let, let, it, let everyone in and then sort them out from the inside. You, you go, you stay, you go, you stay. That way you don't miss any opportunities. When you know what you want, you don't miss any opportunities. All right, let's see what we get here. Queen of Wands. Oh, that's very interesting. Very interesting. That is red with the fool. Your initial meeting with this person, whoever this brown dwarf, he does air quotes, is uh, there will be a strong attraction. I got two Queen of Wands here. They both talk about attraction on some level. This one here speaks to this, though, moving away from this type of person, the fakie McFakerman angle. It gave me the other one here. This is just attraction. That's all it is. You will know. You will be very attracted to this person. Okay? And I suspect that's even if, because it's a soul connection on a deep level, I suspect that's even because even if they're not really your type, I think you'll be attracted to them. Now, don't get the other angle of this. She's very superficial, isn't she? Don't be judgy. All right, if you're attracted to somebody, because I know what happens. Listen, 
I know what happens. You're attracted to somebody, right? And you, they're not your usual type. You like tall p people, they're short, and maybe it's a dude and it's bald and all that kind of stuff. And you're like, I have no idea why. Stop questioning it. Don't question it. You're either attracted or you're not. End of the story. Don't worry about what they look like. Don't be superficial, materialistic. That energy is, well, it's devil energy. It creates illusions and things like that. It creates fears in your mind. You start to overthink. You start to go, well, I can't bring, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not usually attracted to that, so I'm not going to even, no, 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 no. If you're attracted, the key here is attraction. Attraction, take the leap. Okay, you will know this is a strong attraction. It's Queen of Wands level. It's very, very strong. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. you don't start questioning things. That's when we miss out on stuff. We question stuff to death. If you're attracted, check it out, and then if it, and then let it let it evolve at a natural pace. All right. What's book ending the Two of Pentacles? The Nine of Wands. Any indecision on your part? Any questioning? Too much questioning? It's not my type. I don't know why I'm attracted. Oh my God. Oh my God. Slows things down. You, you'll miss opportunities. You will miss this brown dwarf. If you have not learned the lessons from your runner in the soulmate cycle. Because I, I, I know from the pre-shuffle of this that that's why that happened in part. It, it may have happened. Hey, look, it's perfectly likely that your runner returns too. They'll feel this energy as it gets closer to you, and it's probably why, and it is getting closer to you, that's probably why they're so antsy about it. But at, at the end of the day, you know, it, it, this, this questioning energy only, only puts up a wall, and it, it, creates a, it creates an uneasy energy around you. So be careful about that. All right? Yep, yep, yep. That's, wow. Uh, I'm going to, I'm not going to pull anything else here. I'm going to take the witches and I'm going to, I'm going to put those there. I'm going to draw out right here. How is this person likely to show up? All right, let's see. I'm going to try to figure out what kind of, uh, it's a tough question to answer. The scenario, if you will. All right, I'm going to try. It's tough for this many people, but I can generalize. That's my theme song. I always look to the bottom of the deck to see if I got the right shuffle. That's two cups. I got the right shuffle. Let's see where we go here. Wow. Well, they're likely to show up on a horse. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Death card crossing the two of cups at the bottom. Another death card. You might remember the death card from such cards as this one, where we talked about banging Little Red Riding Hood, which I still think is kind of hot. Uh, here we go. Page of, page of Wands. I almost said Page of Pentacles. No, Page of Wands. That's my. He's a brave little page. In the Lightseer deck, it's my party girl. Right? She's pretty brave. She goes to the party. You even make eye contact with the party girl in the page of wands. And you're in the next thing you know, you're in the laundry room and those jeans she's wearing are around her ankles. I mean, it is that, it, it is, that is confidence. That is, she knows what she wants. This is someone who knows what they want. When they're curious about something, they go check it out. Just like this little boy on this card here. Little boys get themselves into more trouble with their damn curiosity. You got to go check things out. Right? My God. I, I scratched myself up on a lot of trees trying to check things out and do this and do that. Cut up on fences, all kinds of shit. This is a brave, a brave soul you've got out there. You're not going to have to worry about that. They approach you, I'm sure of it, with that card there. What's the center card? Now, the bottom card again, this, is, uh, this card is what the Two of Cups and Death are crossing. Oh, see, what did I tell you? They're brave. It's the strength card. No fear at all. They, they, just like these they, kids. My God, I think back to when I was this kid's age here. I, had, I feared nothing for the most part. I was a pretty logical thinker. But some of, I'll have to use some of my friends as an example because I thought logically about things. Like I didn't like sports because it didn't make sense to me if somebody hurling something at me. I did the math and all of that. I, I, I was definitely afraid of the ball because it could hurt me. But... 
some of my friends in particular, man, they would just they have just no fear whatsoever. And certain things I had no fear for too. Driving like a maniac when I first got my license was one of them. We did some crazy shit with that first car of mine. Um, there's no fear here at all. There's no running stage. There's no separation stage. There's no nothing. What's what's red with this page of wands? Yeah, it's it's the world. It's something complete. It probably I I, I kind of get this here. I kind of get this. Um, you might get a little two pentacles here about it and put up a bit of a wall because it all seems a little too easy. This is easy. This right here, when I'm trying to lay out the scenario and I said it's going to be hard to tell for a, a large audience, no, pretty easy. These are pretty straightforward cards. This is, this is someone where, like, I'll give you the scenario just as an example. It's a normal day for you. You go get your coffee in the morning before work. So you're in line. And you don't even see this person. They see you. They come up to you. Okay? They're curious about you. you know, it, it's, it's just it's that way. Eye contact doesn't even have to be made. This is someone who goes for it. You might read that incorrectly. You might read that as a player. Just be careful about that. What you're looking for is the attraction. Alright? If it's a player type person, as the kids like to call them, if it's a player type person, usually you're repulsed at first, right? You kind of know what they're after. You're not, you're not getting in my pants, motherfucker. You know, that kind of thought. This is someone you will want to get. You will not get a player vibe off of it. It's, it's actually probably someone very nice, very curious, and all that kind of stuff. Um, this, is, this is good stuff. I mean, it is what it is. This energy is getting closer. The energy gets closer and closer. The opportunity comes your way is more likely to come your way the more you learn from the soulmate cycle, from the runner. The more you grow, the more you get into the Empress energy. Now, I've been pulling three cards, and I pull pretty much one every day. Um, and you guys keep coming up as full Empress energy, or you come up as Queen of Pentacles, as you sort of did here. Um, in one angle, the energy is always in layers. But uh, it's, it, it's dependent upon that. Again, um, the only thing, is there anything else? You know what? I'm going to switch. I'm going to go to one more deck. I'm going to grab the little animal deck. I'm going to see if the universe, oh wow, wow. Oh, the deck just exploded, by the way. The deck just exploded. Randomly at the bottom of the deck was, was the Empress, what I was going to show you. And the deck exploded. Uh, it just absolutely blew up in my face here. So give me a second to straighten it out and let me see what the universe was trying to tell me. All right, here we go. Okay, let's shuffle the deck. Do you have any advice for the Empress? Which who was at the bottom of the deck randomly? All right, let's see. What a, what what do we need? Anything else the Empress needs to know here? This is you specific. It's not about your person. Your person looks great here. This looks fabulous, and I've been predicting that for quite a while. And for some of you, this person's come in. I know about that. You've told me about it or whatever. For others of you, they won't come in until there's an energy match. That's what the Two of Cups keeps telling us. They won't come in until there's an energy match. So definitely learn whatever lessons you, you have to learn. Again, your lessons live in the Four of Cups, in the disappointment. All right. this, is, this is coming in to, to turn that Three of Swords around. It's a bit of a reward because I know you've helped your growth has helped the other side of you know your runner side quite a bit the universe rewards that you've inadvertently helped the universe balance energy there's always a reward for that there's it's always it's sometimes it takes a while to arrive it takes time to make things happen let's see here what else you want to tell the empress anything else the empress needs to know here mm, let's see ten pentacles Ten swords, three swords. That's a very interesting message. What do we got here? I got two cards at the bottom crossing the ten swords. The four of pentacles and the five of swords. Mm -hmm. um, there's a tendency. I think the one remaining energy that's left in what would be, I would assume, the majority of you watching, if it's not you, fine but the universe has to work with majorities the one remaining energy left 
is one of the things that the runner may have may have instilled in you is a bit of holding back because of some kind of cynicism or skepticism that's always short uh, short-sighted okay it's always short-sighted anything like that okay will kind of put ten swords in in this thing here okay will slow down this process all right that the uh, ten of Pentacles here is dependent upon you taking the pain out and looking at it all right um, again this is this ties directly to the three swords that was in the pre-shuffle where it's something that turns the three swords around it's something that makes you this this incoming energy okay in part is something that makes you see why something had to happen to you why someone ran from you why you had to go through a spiritual journey why you had to watch a bunch of tarot readings why you had to grow you'll understand why but there is a level of cynicism underneath the energy where you might be skeptical if you meet someone this energy may not like that it may rub this energy the wrong way and they may just not come towards you and I'm not saying while you're talking to them I'm saying they may avoid you they may it may kind of brush them off because you're very close in frequency with this person okay whoever this is and because of that any little difference could cause them to sort of just be well as, as brave as they are it might cause them to get uh, you, you might rub them the wrong your energy might rub them the wrong way all right so again uh, uh, a message about not prejudging anything don't prejudge people don't because you got prejudged by your runner so a lesson you should learn is not to prejudge things don't pre try to be as neutral as possible try to go out in the world and be as neutral in energy as you can all right don't prejudge situations don't prejudge people don't hold back because of what happened to you in the past and think and tie it to someone else and they might do it again this is completely different from fakie mcfakerman all right that's a, that's the best i can tell you the the whole thing hinges on on the pain here on the three of swords basically the ten of pentacles is talking about you making sure you know exactly what you want what you learned from your runner carrying it forward with you making making a list of what you don't want like i always tell you and just knowing what you want you know knowing when you're having the confidence to know when you're attracted to somebody they're curious but they'll be curious about you make sure you're curious about them too all right and don't question if if they're not your usual type per se the attraction will be strong enough for you to overlook that so don't question it don't don't reject it because they're not your usual type that would be you being the queen of wands mr or mrs superficial and you're not you're better than that that's not empress energy it is only with this particular energy it is only pure empress energy that will attract it because they're very balanced within themselves and that's come up quite a bit here that's your read again it's right here it just keeps coming up and it gets closer and closer the more you guys grow but i will tell you on the runner side in the uh, soulmate cycle it, this is probably the cards i've just thrown here in this reading and the pre-shuffle to it are probably why they're getting closer and closer and closer as well and why they keep why the readings keep coming up the way they do all right. or at least they're feeling you on a higher level for sure all right. because it's always a, it's always competition with that kind of thing competition always brings them in right you break up with somebody they see you with somebody else all of a sudden you hear from them it happens all the time it happens in the soulmate thing too even if it's a runner that's your reading I hope it was helpful pay attention all right it's not just another day wake up every morning and say something's going to happen today i don't know what could be good could be bad but hey something's going to happen you know something is going to happen there's no such thing as just another day something always happens it could be usually it's pretty minor might be boring but something happens as long as you take that approach to it you know because this is one of those things where it changes on a dime my little analogy about the coffee house in the morning is pretty close to how it kind of plays out uh, this is not someone who's lingering around you spying on you and all that kind of stuff this is someone who moves very quickly strength card little page of wands here world card it changes things very fast you move from one cycle to another you move from three swords to not three swords all right that's your reading i hope it was helpful if you like this reading please like share and subscribe appreciate all the subscribers 
everybody who shares and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck.